So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to have uh, this um, uh, interaction with the, the CIPRI staff, with all the uh, ambassadors um, present here, and it was um, really a very good opportunity for me to share our vision regarding the challenges and um, threats um, on the Black Sea region. So, um, um, if we look to the whole region, what we can see, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the unprovoked illegal and uh, the um, most atrocious uh, war after the Second World War in Europe. So this is one, um, this is the, 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 the biggest challenge of in the Black Sea region. And of course we have to um, look around and um, to see also the other frozen conflicts around the Black Sea. Here, here we, we, we have to, to uh, mention um, Nagorno-Karabakh, um, South Ossetia, uh, Transnistria, and also to not forget the backyard of the Black Sea, the Western Balkans. So I do believe that all these challenges required a more focused attention of NATO, of EU, and of the other like-minded countries which really care about security. We already are um, seeing NATO enhancing its presence um, on the eastern flank of the alliance. We already have seen NATO increasing its presence in the Black Sea region. Romania is one of the countries which benefits from the increased U.S. Uh, military presence. NATO presence, we have France. Belgium and Netherlands being part of the NATO battle group deployed in Romania. And uh, also there are some EU instruments, EU decisions already taken to uh, enhance cooperation in between NATO and the EU to strengthen the um, uh, security in the Black Sea region. And of course there is a strengthened cooperation in between NATO riparian countries of the Black Sea, and that should also continue and be part of the solution. What we do really need for the Black Sea region is to have a strategy. We know, uh, and we are uh, very well working with the U.S. and uh, the U.S. Congress have required to uh, have um, a designated strategy for the Black Sea and also taking into consideration the decisions taken last uh, year during the NATO uh, summit in Madrid and the new concept also NATO should, NATO should have, should come with a strategy for the, uh, or with the plan for the uh, Black Sea region included or according to the new strategic concept. So. All these should be taken into consideration in order to strengthen security, to st strengthen defense and deterrence posture in the Black Sea region. On one hand. On the other hand, of course, all the other international instruments should consider to solve the historical unsolved problems in the Black Sea region. And uh, that's, um, I, that cannot happen in the short time. It's a matter of mid and long term solution. And we have to, to, to really take care of that. Of course, there are the other um, uh, aspects of the interconnectivity and um, um, 
already very well known problems related to energy and uh, um, uh, infrastructure. All this should be also part of a plan in, in, uh, in the Black Sea region. So all in all, these are the most important. If CIPRI will continue to host this kind of events and CIPRI will give the chance to all the um, leaders, all the um, decision um, makers to come and to have this kind of interaction in, uh, and uh, um, um, to answer the questions of the CIPRI members, which are doing nothing else than focusing on the security issues, of course, CIPRI should, is, should, and will be part of the solution. And I'm sure that CIPRI um, coordinating and collaborating with the other think tanks, um, uh, very valuable think tanks like CIPRI, they will play an important role within the process of finding a solution for the security, not only in the Black Sea region, but all over the world. Thank you very much.